if anybody expresses any interest in practicing some form of yoga, including yourself, if you get interested in doing more dimensions of yoga, never take instruction from anybody who is just a practitioner or even a certified teacher. Especially never take instruction from a book or a video. It's… it's totally irresponsible to do that. When I say irresponsible, is it going to kill you? Yes, that also can happen. But if that happens, I don't think it's a big problem, okay? I… I don't think it's a big problem if somebody dies. But if somebody lives and misses the possibility of knowing his life in a much deeper way, that pains me. See, when I say harm will happen to you, it is not necessary that something should break in you or you should fall ill or something. You miss the possibility of knowing. Isn't that harm enough? Isn't that a terrible harm? See, somebody caused harm to you does not mean you're young, you're growing up. Somebody caused harm to you does not mean necessarily they have to shoot at you. Somebody made sure that you did not get your education. Is that bad enough? Yes? Isn't it bad enough? So this is just like that on a much deeper level, but the same thing. Somebody denied you a possibility. That's bad enough, isn't it? It is not that something has to go wrong in terms of your physical health or something else, but that also can happen. Without a very committed atmosphere, there should be no transmission of yoga. Most people in the world will do better without yoga than with yoga. Now, uh, you know I'm… my whole activity in India mostly is in southernmost part of India and now we have come to Bombay and other places. But where I come from, my native place, I don't teach there. All my friends and family, whatever I know, I never taught them yoga unless they come here, wherever I am. So when I go sometimes visiting, so the first question these days they've given up. <laughs> Otherwise the question is always, what you're teaching yoga all over the world, why don't you teach me some yoga, my back is hurting. No yoga in uncommitted atmospheres. To tell you how, to what extent, I hope you understand this in the right perspective. My mother was ill a few years ago, eight, eight, nine years ago. I'm sorry, I'm losing track of time. Thirteen, fourteen years ago, seriously ill. We know that she's going to die. My father being a physician, you know, the family is much more aware that she has a short span of time. And uh, that's the time a lot of somehow people are coming home and telling my mother, oh, you should see the yoga program, you must attend. <laughs> She's spiritually inclined, she's been initiated in her very early age something, but that's all. As her death came closer, she said, I want to experience this. I want to experience meditation. I said, okay, I'll, I'll organize a class in the town, you come. She's in a bad condition, but she could come. As per me, she can come, I could take her and do it. But my father being a physician, he says, no way is she going to leave the house for three and a half hours and sit there somewhere and anything may happen, you know, blue light. <laughs> if you want, at home you do whatever. No going and sitting in the class, I will not allow such a thing because she's not in that kind of condition. I said, it's okay, she can come. But you know, he's the senior man and you know how it is. <laughs> But my mother repeatedly is expressing, I want to experience meditation. I said, you convince him and come somehow, anyway you're going to die. 
what is there if you fall dead in my class? See, you just have three, four months left. So suppose you die two months early, what is going to happen? You do what you want to do, isn't it? But that's not how a doctor sees it, he wants to stretch it to the last minute. She wouldn't have fallen dead, she would have, I would have made sure that she experienced something truly worthwhile. But this didn't happen, this went on. Twice I fixed programs so that it's convenient for her to come and attend, but no. I refuse to teach it in an uncommitted… As a mother, if you sit with me, I'm not interested in teaching any yoga to any mother or sister or whatever nonsense. If you sit with me, you have to sit right, properly, otherwise it's… there's no question, no point because it will not be what it should be. So she died without yoga. <clears throat> Why I'm telling you this is, that's how it is held, not because of some extreme attitude, because we know the implications of what it is. Out of over-eagerness or plain ignorance or because of commercial interests, today yoga is being taught everywhere without any sense. Once you do this, you will see you will kill the whole science. Modern science, when it was evolving, in the early twenties, in the early part of the twentieth century, all kinds of fake scientists came up and started claiming all kinds of fantastic inventions. Those days, inventing something was fashionable. Because so many new things are happening, everybody is claiming, okay, all kinds of fantastic inventions. Then the responsible scientific community took time off from their work and established safeguards so that misuse of science does not happen. Science has reached this point today as quickly as it has only because of those safeguards. Similarly, in the spiritual processes in India, there were very rigid safeguards so that misuse and misinterpretation and damage does not happen. But in the last hundred, two hundred years, as I said, either of… either because some people are over-eager or they're just plain ignorant or they're unscrupulous. People have just taken away all safeguards. You can teach yoga on the beach, you can teach yoga in the theater, you can teach yoga in the aerobic class, you can just do it anywhere, isn't it? This will not bring well-being, there's no question about that. Oh, my backache went away, you are saying this, I went to yoga, my backache went away. You're happy your backache went away, but you don't know what you missed. You went to yoga and you did not touch the other dimensions of life. You did not create the possibility of slowly moving into other dimensions. That's a terrible damage that's happened to your life. You did not go, you do not know, the possibility is still open. You went and you missed it, then the possibility is sort of closed, isn't it? So don't attempt teaching yoga or reading books and trying to learn yoga. Please do not do such things. If you want to learn asanas, those kind of things, I think there are some people who are teaching it properly you could learn from them. This dimension of yoga must be taught in a very committed atmosphere. Otherwise, you should not transmit this kind of thing. You'll bring more harm than well-being.